right so with your control and to open a new document this is what you get and then i'm going to use a5 if you want the a5 go to print yeah go to print and then you see a5 go through a5 is here it comes with the preset already which is the width is 148 by 210 height 148 width and then 210 as the height and then the resolution is 300 and then just type the name it's a church flyer so i have it here social media church poster control c to copy these details and then come and paste it here control b to paste it all right so social media church poster and everything is okay i'm going to use it for social media so i don't need to do much on this side and then i'll click on create and then to have something like this boom then i begin to work with the background i've, I've told you already that um in in photoshop or in graphic design it covers four key areas especially three key areas the last one is adding beauty and then the first one is when one working with the background two working with text three working with images and then the last one which is the fourth one is adding beauty to the whole player so let's start with the first one which is the background drag this and then drop it in photoshop and then release it or wait for it to load guys okay so it's downloading i'll hold alt and then hold edge here and then stretch it nicely to cover the entire screen then i'm press enter on the keyboard if you are using a windows or the shortcut key that, that i'll be mentioning is applicable to your side but if you are using mac operating system and other operating system or linux operating system and other things i don't know the shortcuts so please forgive me on that and i'll go to the side and then convert it to smart object and then go to i'm um, sorry filter yes blur and then gaussian blur and i'll apply apply a blur of something like 10 or let me see 20 good 20 is okay press enter and then it check like this all right then i'm going to do is what i'm going to do is that i'll put this and this in a group and then call it bg all right then what i'm going to do next is to up bring this shield yes sorry bring this shield over there drag it in photoshop and then release it boom like this now it enter press enter and then right click it and then call a uh, rasterize layer type and then press on this side if yours is on either object selection or yours is on different one apart from the magic uh, yes Alright, so now it's done selecting. I'll press Ctrl C to copy it and then Ctrl V to paste it again. And then come and delete the beneath one. Delete it this way. And then you have this. Awesome, 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 awesome. V on the keyboard. Ctrl T and then let me zoom it or let me scale it down. Scale it down like this and then push it up here. Alright, 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 alright. Now, what I need to do. Okay, so what we did is that after we brought the shield inside, yes, after we brought the shield, we brought some lens flare and other things just to make sure it's in order. Yes, just to make sure that it's in order. And this was the shield, if you look at it. And then we brought this uh, um, um, nice, just to make sure the inside look like darken and other things, just like that. And then that is it. You can create it yourself or you can just pick it. Once I'm sharing, then you can call it the shield yes the shield and then after that we brought our typing and other things inside have all the text here ctrl c to copy it ctrl c and then move to photoshop t on the keyboard if yours is not coming you hit t over here and then press type anywhere yes type anywhere and then after typing anywhere ctrl v to paste the copied work yes Paste the copied work and then we are going to change the color go to this character side go to this character side yeah go to this character side all right so we went to this character side and then maybe let's change the color to white for the meantime yes maybe we'll come back and change it press all caps to change it to caps lock then v on the keyboard and then push it to the side 
yes push it to this side and i think it's okay so let's change the color straightforward let's change the color straightforward i think we pick a color closer to something like this yes and if you want to use the hex code is ff7800 ff7800 click on ok and then drag it again hold alt and then drag it this side and then we are going to pick the anointing Control c to copy it and then double click here all right so double click inside and then control v to paste it boom and then what the font we has we use i think we use sensor sensor decorative fonts yeah we use a font called sensor decorative fonts and then let's go up if it's here um yeah it's here it's here it's here it's here it's here it's here and then we change the color from that to white yeah we use a color white yes we use a color white and then let's see let's see let's see we use black awesome 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 control t and then let's scale it up nicely like this and i think it's okay is this okay for you okay better so let's close this gap let's close here okay let's close here to something like minus 20 and see awesome so let's more minus 40 and let's see and I think maybe minus 60 will help us. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So push it at the center and see, and then control, then double, and then maybe you go and double click it, and then control C to copy it, and then double click inside, double click the text, control V to paste it. Awesome, awesome. Control T again, and then scale it up like this and then push it at the center guys always do as you see on your screen and i think this is awesome 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 then we can put all this thing this and then that control t uh, control g and then call it text all right so the text and the shield put all together control g and then call it theme yes this become the theme of the flyer we are designing then we are going to bring a, the logo yeah in case you are designing it for a church or a particular church then use the church details the particular that is the name the church details that they will provide to you make sure you use that one and then let me go and pick this selection to and then come and cut this side away Control V to cut it and then double click at the edge here and then you see this and I'll go and pick solid color yes you can also go to this fx column you can go to fx this column and then go and pick a, a, a blending option like this and then you pick a solid color for it yes come and pick a color overlay sorry a color overlay then you click inside and go and choose color white and then click ok ok then it's applied to the one we have cut now Control g and then call it logo all right so we see the logo and then the theme are all set now the next thing is that we are going to introduce the images and then the rest of the details will follow so i have them here i drag the image beneath this nicely like this and then the first image um i didn't post it over here so i'll go and copy it from the main work so where is the main work where is the main work where is it where is it where is it where is it okay let's go and copy them from here so i have this here and then i'll push it up like that and then release it boom something like this it's awesome it's awesome it's awesome Control t and let me reduce the size it's too big yeah and i think this is awesome but what do you see all right 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 Hey, it didn't come here, it didn't come, it didn't come. Hey, what is that? What is that? What is that? All right, uh huh. It's now appearing here. Okay, control T, and then we can reduce the size. Yeah, guys, you can reduce the size and push it to this side. And then this image must come up. Yeah, then pick all the images, and then maybe you can bring it down a bit like this. And I think this is okay. This okay. This okay. This okay. So this image 
you add layer marks to it and then blur this side reduce the size of the brush and blur or fade or just brush the side and make sure it doesn't the sharp edge will go all right 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 now we can work with the time and things because we said it's what 6 p.m then wednesday the date is there so let's see if we can go and copy them just to make sure that the video will not be too long so i have my date here i'll drag this over here boom and then where did you place it we place it here boom you can place it here um sorry you can place it here yes Control t and then place it at this side awesome 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 and then the time again the time the time the time the time we will go and copy the three of it sorry we will copy the three and then push it to this side okay so we place it at this side Control t and then reduce the size a bit yeah awesome 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 Control g and call it time all right so if you want to type them yes you can even type them you can even type them okay so this Control g and separate this one and call it date because it's 30th of august 2023 and then this becomes the uh, images now you can even work on the names yes where are the names where are the names okay so i'll open the names column and then select all i'll select everything good i'll select everything in the name column then push them up like this yes and then go and paste it go and paste it and then i'll reduce the size yeah i'll reduce the size and then position it like this it becomes awesome it becomes awesome it becomes awesome it becomes awesome and then you see so you realize that this is not in line this and this is not in line so i'll push it up yeah that represents the man up over there control g and then you call it sorry 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 so i think it's in between okay let's see so this becomes uh, 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 uh. this becomes the name and images control gen all right all right all right so you see this become name um names and then images all right and then don't forget the font i use with the width i use a font called taken by watches yes and then the samuel aj button is a font from balega yes a balega font and then the colors i gave them i picked the colors from here yes i picked the colors from some from here others from this side and then that's how i was able to get all the colors i sampled them from there and then let's see the um time let's do something about the time because the time is covering the name good so the time should come to this side and i think this is okay or you need to reduce it because it's going overboard yeah if i say overboard we set a boundary for ourselves and we don't need to go beyond it so now you see everything is in order Control z to zoom it and then we have this thing nicely then the next thing is that we are going to draw a nice rectangle we do a nice rectangle like this yeah we do a nice rectangle like this and then we gave, gave it a color from this side um i think this yeah awesome 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 then we center it like this and the rest of the details follow the rest of the details follow which is this upsa auditorium accra ghana control c t on the keyboard yeah let's hit here t on the keyboard and hit here control v to paste it then control t let's resize it to be small and then push it on top it's falling under so we need to click this and push it up yes push it up and then go and change the color to color black yes and um, yellow always move to either 
white or black but the one that makes it very visible is the black then go and copy this one then double or hold alt and then drag it beneath this see double click inside control v to paste it and then let's resize it let's resize it let's resize it to something like 10 and let's see i think 10 is okay then use the arrow key to push it up let's go and close here up yeah close here up close here up okay 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 and then let's see if we can make it 15 and 15 too will be too much 15 too will be too much or uh, better still let's see we can make it 15 and then break some of them apart so let's break here apart and then we break here to apart uh, what do you say 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 okay let's make it this way okay 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 so this will come yeah this will come and then this will follow let's see okay let's open up the rectangle yes Control t and then hold shift and then open up here this way boom Okay, I think this side we need to change it to from a, uh, this to something like a bevers. Yes, you need to change it from this to bevers. Control T and then scale it up. Yeah, scale it up this way and it becomes awesome. Yeah, scale it up this way and it becomes awesome. And this, let's delete it for the meantime. Yeah, bevers is okay. And I think bevers, let's see if we can have more of the bevers. And let's use something like this. Good. It should be very very visible it should be very very visible and then we'll go and copy this go and copy ctrl c to copy it and then drag this here double click inside ctrl v to paste it and then let's see with the bear bus we are going to maintain bear bus but instead of um, good. okay okay so instead of board you are going to use either book yeah, now book two is two things. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. This is awesome. Control T, and then let's size it down. Size it down. Size it up. Size it down. And then position it. And then double. Sorry. Control J to duplicate it, and then push it down using the arrow keys. And then go and copy the contact details. There's a call or WhatsApp, and then that number is there. So double click inside here. Control V to paste the copied text. All right, all right. And then I think we should change that to something like um, a font called this. Yeah, Balega font. And then let's change it to either 15 will not be bad. 15 will not be bad. And I think this is awesome. Even you are the best judge, so you can tell better which one is awesome. Yeah you can tell better and then we put all this thing in a group control j and then call it down details yes down details and it is set down details and then we have some png of a location icon drag it like this release it hold out and then size it down as you are seeing below yes size it down as you are seeing below control it to hide the guides and then drag it on top like this and it becomes better 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 what i did to bring the guide is that i went to um, a view and i went to guide and i went to new guy layout and then let me do it do new guy layout and then you set the guys either six by six or whatever and then you clear an existing guide if not we have a guide already so it will interrupt so i'll click it this way so control h to hide the guide control h to bring it back okay now we realize that this should go inside the down details yes so you see everything is in order just position them and make sure everything is order so you have your date and time control g let me put it in a group and then call it date and uh, time all right so this date and time is in order and then i have my names and images 
as in order and then i have my logo as in order i have my theme as in order and then in all my main background and then when i was done i was not done i brought this texture drag it in photoshop and release it this way boom then hold alt and then scale it to cover the entire surface or to cover the entire design press enter on the keyboard then go to the blending option and set a blending option to either soft light yes we used soft light press enter this way and then boom press enter again now add layer mask go to the side add layer mask click inside the layer mask and press b on the keyboard now the brush stroke is not showing because our caps lock is on so press caps lock and then you have this way now either you use the bracket open to open up the brush size or a bracket close to close the brush size and let's clean the face more we don't want that texture to be showing in the fish yes in the face and i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome and this is awesome this is awesome just do it this way and guys this is how we were able to achieve an awesome church flyer in photoshop as you have seen here let me go and show you as you have seen here and exactly what we have designed here exactly what we have also designed here so please subscribe to this channel like share comment as i have said if you want the psd file for this which is also here if you want the psd file then i'm sure by now you have seen the password showing at this side this side this side or this side anywhere on your screen please pay attention to any information that you see on your screen it might be the password or it is the password don't skip it and then you get the password and extract use it for free please subscribe to this channel like and share and let's interact let's interact i have a lot of tutorials as i've said i have about 282 videos and still counting so please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know how this channel is helping you so far love you i'll see you in the next tutorials bye for now